<sighs> Shalom Facebook, it's your girl Sister Zion Shalom YouTube, back with another video So, um, I'm going to play a video I guess, um, that I came across On somebody, um, YouTube That I follow, this guy named Chief Cali And I love watching his videos because he like to You know, talk about good points about religion And, um, Christianity And all that stuff And, um, this is, no, again, I have to say this In the beginning of my video Because some of y'all getting y'all feelings I'm not sitting up here telling people not to be Christians, none of that. I'm not saying none of that. I'm trying to get y'all to understand people like me, where we come from and where we get our logic and the why sometimes when you guys try to justify questions that we ask y'all, how sometimes it can sound a little ridiculous, right? So here we go. So I guess this question in this video is an atheist asks, you know, why God don't heal amputees, amputees. Hopefully I'm saying that right, amputees. You know, people who's missing limbs. Like, if I didn't have my arm was gone, and you seen somebody pray over me, and that thing know my arm grew back, and you knew I didn't have an arm, you're going to start worshiping or believing in whatever it was that grew my arm back, right? So, check this out. And I'm going to have to play it off my tablet, because I can't really edit the video the way I want to. But, um, let me turn this truck, because I'm going to play it through the audio of my truck, so you guys can hopefully hear it better. So, is this on? And I'm, I'm excited to be in heaven with lots of people who will be healed amputees and will have full, amazing, working bodies. So the first thing I want to say in response to this question is that perspective is important. Anyone who desires to be with Jesus if they're an amputee, they are going to be healed. And not only that, but actually the vast majority of their life, of their eternal life, will be spent healed and redeemed. It is only the smallest fraction of life at the very beginning of time in which that might not be the case. I do believe that God heals amputees. Okay. So um, check that out real quick. Just I'm going to make a comment on that real quick. So basically, if you catch his wordplay, uh, basically what he was saying, oh, just because, you know, um, you might be suffering right now, you might be missing a limb or whatever, but don't really worry about it because in your afterlife, when you die and you move on to the next life, you're going to be fully whole, healed then, you healed and whole. You, he's going to have you whole, you're going to be in heaven, everything's perfect. Like, I'm just paraphrasing. Of course, he didn't say exactly that, but I'm trying to get you to, the way that the message is being pre basically perceived, right, that you're going to get healed after. You know, if you don't get if you don't get life healed, then this lifetime is okay. But the next lifetime, you're gonna be healed, so it doesn't matter, right? So don't worry about not being healed, right? So check that out. So let's see, let me turn this back up. Even in this life, back this up a little bit. That God heals amputees, even in this life. I believe He's powerful enough to do that. I haven't seen that with my own eyes, though. I do have very good friends who I trust deeply. Who have I think that God's in a difficult situation okay so you caught that part he never seen it happen before but he was reassuring you that it will it can happen for you it will can it's possible and but don't worry about it because you know it's gonna happen when you when you get up out of here but you heard him say I never seen it. at least he was honest I never seen a miracle either I thought I did the only miracle I thought I really saw turned out it wasn't a miracle somebody had me thinking in the beginning when I first met them they couldn't walk and I later found out that wasn't the case you know what I'm saying they just was they had medical problems and it was just a little hard for them to walk because of their medical condition but they could walk so that's another video but um you heard what he said he he knows because other people who he trusts like men don't lie like not you know not men you know the people he trusts he trusts them they're not gonna lie to him and I'm trying to tell y'all and I'm speaking you don't have to believe anything I'm saying but People have lied to me and exaggerated me, their experiences, um, in their testimony. Because when I go back and ask these people, now that I'm thinking with a different mind, yo, you know, hey, tell me your testimony again. And this time I really listened. Every time I was able to break it down and realize that what I was originally told was not a miracle. But um, I'm going to continue with the video. I'm going to back it up just a little bit more. And let's see what's happening. What else he's saying. I think that God's in a difficult situation in the context of this life because he wants to be obvious enough that anybody who desires to follow him can choose him. But he also doesn't want to make himself so forceful and in your face that actually we have no choice 
but to follow him. It wouldn't even be us putting our trust in him because if he was so obvious that he healed everything and he did every miracle we ever wanted him to do, then that would take away the freedom that we have in this small fraction of life to choose to be in that eternal life. Billy Graham once said, one day you'll hear rumors that I have died. Do not believe them, they will not be true. And I love that perspective, that actually this is just the beginning portion of life where we make a significant decision to live in a healed, redeemed state for all eternity. All right, so let's break this down. First of all, um, that last little part, old boy said, I mean, not boy, because I guess he's a man, he's a grown man. The, the speaker said that God is in a difficult situation. According to the Bible, he's God, all powerful, all knowing. He cannot be in a difficult situation because everything that is happening to us is by his design, his will, his, his authority, or whatever if he has his own rules that he can't break or he can't go against maybe that makes it more just for justifiable but at the same time if you got can you break your own rules those one of those paradox questions right but you see how he was like oh god is in a difficult situation he don't want it to be he don't want it so obvious that he exists he just want us to believe that he exists but he don't want to make it so obvious so that's why he's not really healing these people right adam and eve is not the the curse on men of according to the bible if you believe that stuff y'all know i don't believe it but um the uh, adam and eve problem was not that they did not believe in god they knew god exists god walked and talked with him and made him and created him and he fellowship with them right uh he had a relationship with them pretty much uh god's problem in that um part is that they disobeyed him he, he gave them rules and they broke it so he had to punish mankind and then everything that's related to a man right so that's why millions and billions of people on this earth are suffering and um, going through all the trials and tribulation they're going through in this lifetime because of two people decide to eat a fruit and disobey the person that created the or the, the, the being that created them, right? So you heard how he was saying that, oh, yeah, because, you know, he just want us to believe. If there was no other way to get your disobedient children to believe in you, wouldn't a miracle that cannot be explained something that they know they had nothing to do with will probably be the most best way to get people to believe like i'm telling y'all right now much as i despise on um, the bible now that i know the truth behind it and my logic that i used to have and being brainwashed and manipulated and being tied down to religion i will put i'm putting it on everything if I ever see somebody who did not have a hand and I checked and I saw they was missing arms and legs and shit, if I see somebody grow back up um, their arm like a lizard or something like that and and somebody was praying and stuff over there, I'm going to believe in whoever they was praying to at that moment. It is what it is. But you kind of see how he kind of like at the end, he basically telling y'all don't worry about it if, it if you don't see these signs of these miracles or whatever. And he didn't say the exact things, but I'm telling you this is what he's um he's basically putting out there don't worry about if you don't see these healing signs you're gonna see them later worry about your eternal soul after right which is okay message i used to believe in that stuff but when a person asking you if you want me to believe in god why won't god just prove to me that he's real think about it so uh okay i guess i'm gonna end that video but yeah god is in a difficult situation i don't think he's in a different i think he's in a situation of whatever it is that he ordained and he assigned and um i, I if, if you study the bible it wasn't because the people didn't believe in god it was they was being disobedient and if you study the bible basically you really can see that a person lacking faith is not believing they can do the impossible or whatever it's showing faith the guy is just doing what he says if you believe the bible if he tell you to do something you do it basically that's faith we know he is this look around well he i don't want to say he or she because I'm, I'm tired of putting labels on things that we really can't explain we don't know what really happens until we move on but the bible is not telling you you suffer because you're not believing it was saying it was because disobedient we was told to do something, didn't do it, according to the Bible. But Shalom, tell me what y'all think about that, and uh, I'm gone.